you know, Nick said he's retired, but you know, I think there's certain things I can get Nick motivated and get him out of off his, you know, off his, uh, you know, whatever he's on, you know, get him, you know, get him back on the mat and training like for a fight. Though he trains all the time, but uh, and I think Machida was one of those guys, you know, and um, and I, you know, I was like, oh, that would be a neat fight. I remember BJ Penn fighting Machida years ago, and you know, and getting a draw, you know, and I thought BJ almost won that fight to be honest, and that was crazy. That was back in the days, and you know, K1 Dream. I right. wonder, I wonder who people even know that, you know, I'm not gonna know that. Shit. But that's, uh, but that happened. So, you know, I think Nick would be a guy to pull that. And uh, Machida's been badass lately. I thought, uh, you know, I thought it was a close fight with him and Phil. Um, it was a great fight. Both of those guys are really good. And I thought it would be a, a great fight to get, you know, Nick back in the cage. But, uh, you know, I don't know what else, I don't know what happened. You know, but I was like, oh, that was, I thought, you know, that was something he'd say yes to. But I don't know if he did or not. Would you like to see Nick at 185 pounds? I like to see Nick just in back in the cage, period, you know? I mean, it'd be perfect if the weight class was 180, 180 for him or 177, you know? And there was a 162 weight class for Nate, you know? Just for some luck, for some luck they're, you know, to me, I think, you know, right. it's 15 pounds right in the middle, both of them, you know? Even Jake has that problem a little bit too, you know? Nate, Nate's got a gray mater and trilogy fight coming up. Baby, cut it out. Nate's got Gray Maynard that was just uh, announced. Uh, give your thoughts on that fight and how you think Nate's going to do in that fight. I think Nate's going to do great in that fight. You know, I think Gray Maynard versus him is a rematch that he's probably wanted for a while. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, Nate's in a good place, I think, with his head and getting his whole gym together and, and, uh, and asking for certain fights. I think this is something he'd like, you know what I mean? And I think, uh, you know, this is a scary fight for Maynard to come step into after, you know, what he's gone through as well. But uh, both of these guys gone through two, two, two battles, their last two fights, you know. So, you know, I think I, I got a lot from, but on, on the mental edge, I got uh, Nate on this and the hands and, and the grappling department as well. And I think it's going to be great. What do you think went wrong for Nate in his last two fights? Um, you know, that, that one against Benton was, uh, you know, I think you know it was it was shaping up and it was you know he's a slow start as always but I think you know the Benson was the you know he got he got his eye smashed and he couldn't really adapt and, and, and dig deep you know there was there was something going on you know I was like what's going on Nate you know he was holding back for some reason and I and I really truly believe it was the eye you know and not to say he would have you know won that fight I, I just think it would have been a very com a little bit more competitive and Nate would have been uh, in there a little bit more and he just couldn't really adapt to that his last fight with uh, Josh Thompson though I think. Um, you know, he, it was, I just beat him, Tom Thompson. It was a tough fight with the, not a lot to gain. Didn't expect that fight. And, uh, you know, I think he just became over, a little, little over aggressive in that position. You know what I mean? And that was his, his head was in the right place at that time. And I think he's taking some time off. And I think his head's in the right place. And when Nate's head's in the right place, he, he dominates, you know? Nate sent out a tweet the other day that said, nah, fuck that, I'm fighting Pettis. I'm not sure what that means. But is he just, do you think he's just trying to let Pettis know that, you know, regardless, I want to fight you because I want to put on an exciting fight. Do you think that's his message? or? Yeah, I think he just wants to let him know he's coming for him, you know, and he thinks he can beat him. And uh, I think that's a, 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 you know, I think that's a great fight for Nate as well. You know, I could, Styles make matches in this sport and, and, uh, and, you know, Nate versus Pettis would be a, you know, that's, that's one, you know, Nate's a, an intimidating guy, dude. He's an intimidating guy when he's out there. I'm glad that dude's on my team, you know, and, uh, and um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think he can have an edge on a lot of guys. A lot of the fans, you know, they assume that you guys, because you guys are all on the same team, you guys train together every day, but it's kind of tough when you guys are, you know, living in a, a, you know, an hour and a half, two hours apart. How often do you guys get to link up and have full days training together? You know what, when it's fight time and we need to be there for each other, it happens at least, you know, once a week, you know, for those last, you know, six weeks, or even, you know, a few, couple times that week, if we could both make it out, or if I could stay out there and, and double it up, you know, and, um, so, but you know, right now everyone's been busy and they've been doing their thing. I've been able to go out to their new spot. You know, I've been able to see their new spot. And uh, you know, me and Nate talked the other day and he plans on coming out here this week. So, uh, you know, right now I know it'd be good for him, for me to go spar him. He's a southpaw, Diego's a southpaw. It'd be good to get some good sparring with him. So I'll definitely be going out there soon. Have you guys ever thought about putting together like a fighter camp and taking off somewhere? Maybe like the Big Bear, all the four of you? Yeah, you know, we do think about that as well. But you know, there's just a lot on our plates as well. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, we kind of, our own bosses sometimes and we have a lot on our plate and uh, family's gym, yeah like family's gym thing. things going on and um, it's not that easy to do that but it'd be nice one of these days you know ballers on budgets again
Gil, is there anything you want to talk to us about? Do you have anything that you're working on outside of the fight game or, or promoting or doing anything like that? Uh, you know, just my boys, you know, just, just you know, support my boys. Josh Clopton just fought in the UFC. He'll be coming back, you know. Josh Berkovich up and coming. Cody Orson just fought and had a tough fight in Tachi Palace, you know. The whole scrap pack, you know, all my boys, you know, Carl's, you know, all, all the guys, Jake Shields fighting soon and just, you know, all, all, the, all, the, all the team.